Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley. I way back when, when I was an over-the-road truck driver, I oh yeah, there's a refuge building. Um, I um uh, tried to make everything easy and comfortable for my wife for while we're traveling. Then um, uh, one of those comfort things, well, of course, a refrigerator different things like that but one of the biggest things uh for her she needed to stop all the time and go to the bathroom we did the whole uh funnel fe feminine funnel trying to pee in it into a bottle and then that wasn't really working out i was trying to figure out a solution then i um i found online one of those portable toilet things so we got one of those for the truck. Then uh, once we uh, ended up moving out here and we were living in the van, that was our main toilet. You just unhook it, take it to the um, to the bathroom or to a septic dump, just dump it out. Uh, then that sat in here when, when, whenever we traveled, we were good to go. Uh, this year, when my son uh, football moved out here, the camper trailer that he purchased came with a toilet and everything, but the um, previous occupants, they decided because they were living off grid, they were going to take the toilet out, put it off to the side and use buckets for, um, uh, what is that, Com uh, and have a composting toilet. So <clears throat> that worked out great. I knew about composting toilets and how that worked but i figured that would have been a bit of a jump for football once he moved out here from new jersey that it it just would have been way too much from him like oh uh, i if i go to the bathroom now now i gotta scoop this stuff so wanted to have a toilet for him to um to be able to use so cleaned up the toilet that was here in the van and uh put his i mean uh now he uses that toilet but we didn't have anything in the van uh again so uh we were back to having a stop at different places uh for my wife to go into the bathroom or she just held it until we got home which was very unfortunate with her i mean for her so now that we are preparing for this uh trip to montana got to get uh, get things back right for us. So I ordered her another one. The van will open up right here. There's the toilet right there. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can check it out. So this is the toilet right here. Here's the toilet seat that flips up so you can clean everything. Uh, this version came with a sprayer. I don't know where the... Oh, the sprayer connects in the you have to poke a hole in the hose to spray it. I, I don't know. That's something different and new, but that came extra. This little spray. Oh, it comes with its own cap. So you can uh, connect onto there. Well, first, let's show you how this thing works. You have, um, you have right here, this is where you fill up the water. And when you flush, you lift this up and then squirt it down and water will come out of right here to um, give you a nice little swirl. And when you uh, need to flush, you would just open that up and everything would go down into the lower tank because this is two different tanks right here. So let's unhook it. There are these clamps on the side, just like that. And you just lift it off. And this up here, the upper tank, I believe is three gallons. Let's not drop everything. I believe this is three gallons up here. So you unscrew this cap and that's where you put your fill water. And then down here, this is your, I guess you would call it a black tank. This is your gauge to let you know if it's full or not, it'll turn red. Wonder if I could tip it and then you can start to see the red gauge or whatever. And this button right here is just an air release valve. So once you unscrew this, unscrew this cap off, which I'm just gonna screw it back on, and this slides out. 
just like that and you pick it up and you pour it out into the toilet just like that while pressing that button so it, it doesn't form a vacuum inside and then end up shooting out it could just flow out nice and easy so this is going to be our portable toilet toilet i got so much cleaning to do in a van i still got to put walls up and everything but getting things together piece by piece at a time this so we're good to go if you need any um toilet stuff like this or if you travel this is the only way to go uh you i wouldn't advise it but you can put uh toilet paper and stuff in there you got to make sure that you have some of that uh septic um not septic uh your black tank uh cleaner or something there there's like an orange one that's a gel they have these little tide pod versions that you could put in there to keep everything smelling nice and nice and fresh and breaking everything down uh oh if you do have one of these and you have it in your vehicle make sure you have it strapped down somewhere uh that's fairly easily accessible that you could take it out so it's so you don't hit a bump and then everything goes flying it cracks and then spills poop all over the place so you don't want that happening it'll be a very bad day but this is our new uh, brand new toilet but we had one just like this before uh, it's great for travel so you don't have to stop everywhere or while i'm still driving my wife could walk back here uh in the um uh, in the van and go and you know what might even try and uh try and start to potty train the chunk on this this will be a nice little little thing for him to get good and potty train so that's another idea on what you could use these for uh, it's for travel potty training and all of that so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed shalom